sets of questions. I'm basically just going to work my way through the different sets of questions, um, see how I go answering them all. Um, so this is going to be a long one, so if you want to go and grab a cup of tea or coffee and something to eat, that's probably a really good idea whilst I um, get into this. So first of all, I'm using the Body Shop Moisture Foundation in number four. And I'm going to try out this new brush thing that I picked up. I think I got it from Dezo. Okay. So the first question was, what was the first TV show you watched? The first TV show I can remember watching um, would probably have been something like um, Play School, which is uh, kind of the Australian version of Sesame Street, I guess similar kind of concept, um, or Sesame Street, something like that. Um, I also watch things like The Muppet Show and um, a program called Young Talent Time, which was an Australian talent show with, um, it was actually called The Young Talent Time because the guy who ran it, his last name was Young, but it was all kids. It was like, it was fun. Uh, the second question is, what is your all-time favourite show? Oh, mm. All-time favourite show? Probably... Um, oh, God. It would probably be something sci-fi related, so... I think maybe Babylon 5. Even though it's not on anymore. That or Lex, which was this really bizarre program that my hubby and I used to watch all the time when it was on. It was like a living ship. It was just, it was a very strange program, but we really enjoyed it. Um, so probably something like that. I, like, I don't watch television much anymore, so nothing sort of like really re like fairly recent unless it's Doctor Who because that's pretty much one of the only things I watch these days on television and even then I don't watch it on television uh, I watch it on my computer so that would probably be it hmm. I'm not 100% sure I like this brush I mean in the camera it looks fine but in person There might be a bit of a learning curve with this one. It doesn't help that you have so many nooks and crannies on your face. Or it could just be because I really don't like foundation that much. And most of them I think look horrible on me. It doesn't take my dampened... This is not a Real Techniques sponge. It looks like one. I'm pretty sure this is one of my knockoff ones. Which basically is exactly the same, but a lot less. They're super expensive in Australia. Uh, next question is, what is your ultimate OTP of all TV shows? Uh, that would be Rose and the Tenth Doctor. Um, or um, Yanto and Jack Harkness. <laughs> or the other one would be uh, uh, Jadzia and Worf. I loved that pairing. I was so sad when she died. Um, next one is, which character would you like to take out on a date? Uh, probably the ninth Doctor. He's my favourite. If you know if you know me, you know he's my favourite. Um, <laughs> my favourite Doctor of all time. Um, him or um, Q from Star Trek. I like you. Uh, 
Which shows are you watching at the moment? At the moment, I am pretty much watching Doctor Who when it's on, which of course it's not now, it's on its break. Um, I occasionally watch um, Poldark and uh, I watched the last season of Broadchurch. Uh, this is Maybelline Fit Me in 15. Uh, other than that, I'm really not watching much television at the moment. I'd rather watch YouTube videos than watch television, so... Yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit slack when it comes to TV these days. And then my phone decides to, like, turn itself off. Um, which ended TV show deserves an extra season? Firefly, definitely. Um, and I think probably Torchwood as well. I actually wouldn't mind them doing a fourth season of Broadchurch either, because I really quite enjoyed that when I got into it in the end. Um, yeah. Uh, the next question is, which show, TV show do you want to watch? Uh, right at this moment, um, I'd, I'd like to watch Lex again. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, I, unless it's like something I'm really into, like Doctor Who or Star Trek, I just really don't bother watching television, so. Um, next one is, have you ever watched an entire TV show again or watched multiple, an episode multiple times? Uh, yeah, I actually own the entire, um, collection of... Um, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, the original series, and Next Generation on uh, DVD of all of the Star Treks. Um, and I watch, and I've watched like most episodes of Star Trek at least once, if not twice or three times. And um, same with Doctor Who, I rewatch episodes all the time. Um, I've, there are some episodes that I watch every time I see them on television because I like them that much. Um, yeah. Next one is, which TV show did you watch but then give up on after a while? Um, this is the NYX HD Power, in case you're wondering. Uh, TV series I started watching and then gave up on. Um, there's been a few of those. Uh, like in Australia, there was this show called um, the McLeods, McLeod Sisters, or something, and it was really good for about the first three seasons, and then they killed off one of the main characters, and it was never the same after that. And I just gave up because I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> um, other than that, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but, you know, it's things like um, daytime, uh, drama shows like Neighbours and Home and Away and stuff like that. I never watch all of them. I just get bored with them and then stop watching them. Um, next question is, which character would you want to be for a day? Hmm. That's a tricky question. There are so many of them. <laughs> um, I think maybe um, Donna, Donna Noble, like I really need to say the last name. Um, apart from the fact that kind of like I'm a natural redhead and, you know, she was a little bit on the uh, chunkier side. Yeah. It works for me. But that would probably be the only one. I'm just going to set the rest of my face with... It's actually Physician's Formula powder thing. Um, I transferred it out of its horrible container into my container. And in the camera, I look even more white than I actually am. But I am, in fact, white, so it's not really... 
I'm like pale girl. I don't go out in the sun very much. And even if I did, the only thing I'd get is sunburn, so what's the point? It's actually funny because my skin looks actually darker than it is because I have so many freckles. <laughs> If I matched my freckles, then I would be a couple of shades darker, but then I wouldn't match my neck, so I'm not going to do that at my neck. Um, and then I'm going to grab, uh, this is the Avon bronzing pearl thingies that I am currently trying to pan. I've had these for ages. get stuck in the end of the brush. It's a little bolts. Is this what it is? Uh, it's going to warm up a little bit so it don't look quite so much like I'm dead. Because nobody wants to look like they're dead unless they're supposed to be. Um, so the next set of questions Below that was that was one set of questions, which you know maybe I don't talk about things enough or something I don't know. Maybe I just take a really long time to do my makeup, and I'm not even going for full on today. Even though I've got to film a whole bunch of other stuff after I do this. Um, okay, so the next set of questions: best TV pilot. Hmm. It depends on what you're looking for in a pilot, quite frankly. Um, but I think if I was going to, I would say probably The Cage, only because when Roddenberry made that, it was it was something different that had never really been seen before, um, having a cast that had so many different, like, so diverse um and, you know, female characters that were in positions that were not just, you know, looking pretty and stuff like that. Even though when they went on to actually make the television series, a lot of the characters actually were changed quite a bit. Um, like, the Spock in the cage is not the same as... Um, the characterization is not the same as in the ongoing television series. And, of course, um, the captain in that is Chris Pike, not um, Shatner as um, Kirk. So there's there's that difference. Um, but yeah, the the cage was you know, it was before its time. It was a and I think as a pilot, it's and the fact that it was lost for so long and nobody had ever really seen it, and then they found it again. Uh, the next question is worst TV pilot. Uh, worst TV pilot. TV pilot. Ah. Uh, hmm. Personally, I think um, that. Although there are other aspects of it that I seriously love, um, I think probably um, Voyager would be up there. It was just, so much of it didn't make sense to me. It was just kind of weird. Not that I haven't watched it like four times or something. Um, but it's not, it's not the best. Um, but generally, I don't know. I, I don't really pay attention to whether a show's the pilot or not. I just watch it and if it appeals to me. Um, that's the Maybelline Plus, Plus, Blush in uh, Wild Blossom. Just very pink and I may have been a little heavy handed or not. Whatever. Um, my phone keeps going to sleep because I stopped talking to it. Uh, best series finale. Um, 
maybe um, Torchwood or um, Star Trek Next Generation. Yeah, probably one of those two. Um, I can't think of any other, like the lead up to the end of the, the Torchwood series was so intense and like it was just, and I happened to watch those basically one after the other uh, in like a two day period and yeah, it was like really full on. Um, this is the Lorac um, Perfectly Lit in Luminous, and yes, I'm kind of heavy handed, um, but what's even cooler is I just hit pan in it, using it today, <laughs> and I'm trying to hit pan on it, so it's only a teeny tiny little bit of pan, but still, if you know me, you know that's a good thing, well, let's see if I can, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, oh, there you can see it, focus camera, there you go, can you see it? See the teeny tiny bit of pen. <laughs> Happy about that. Um, okay, next one is worst series finale. Oh. Oh. Um, probably Firefly because nobody really realised it was ending. Probably, and it was so disappointing and so upsetting. <laughs> that would that's a, that would be a possibility um, or um, friends maybe I don't think much of their last episode um, oh, or Seinfeld that would have to be one of the worst endings ever Oof. okay next question favourite TV actress um uh, Ponders the question. Honestly speaking, I don't tend to take too much notice of females in um, television programs. I'm, the, I'm just like that. Um, such a hard question. I'm literally trying to think of a female's name that has been in a television show that I've actually enjoyed. Um, I'm using the Essence Eyebrow Stylist just to fill in my brows while I'm thinking. Um, Billy Piper, I think, um, not just for Rose, you know, but because of, um, uh, Diary of a Curl Girl, which I did actually watch most of that, and that was, like, she was so good in that, she was fantastic, but yeah, she would have to be one of my favourite, um, female, television actresses. Um, can't really think of too many others off the top of my head that I really like. Um, unless there's someone like uh, Patric Patricia Rutledge from um, Hyacinth Bucket, otherwise known as. <laughs> she's pretty good. It's in here and a couple of other things as well. She's pretty good. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Model Co More Brows. Because I've got some white hairs that I haven't dyed, and this actually helps for that. 
more than four. It's supposed to give you, it's got like fibers in it, so it's supposed to give you more brows, but I don't really find that it does that. I have like no brows anyway. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this product yet. And I just got it on my eyelid. Well done. Give that a chance to dry, and while I do that, I'm going to put on some eye primer. Okay, favorite TV actor, I guess they're talking male then instead of female. Um, one of my favorites would have to be um, John Delancey, who played Q in The Next Generation. He also was in uh, Stargate SG1. Um, and a whole bunch of other things, and he's done some like voice work and stuff for different stuff. Um, funnily enough, I had a crush on him years and years ago when I was quite a bit younger. <laughs> Even though he's an older gentleman, um, I really liked him. <laughs> uh, dear. And um, an actor by the name of Michael French, who is an English actor. Um, he's been in a, a few different things but he was in one particular TV series where he was like played a doctor and apart from being incredibly good looking uh, yeah um, along with um, of course pretty much any doctor uh, any actor who has portrayed the doctor at any particular time um, <laughs> but particularly uh, Christopher Eccleston um, I've seen him in some other stuff other than in um, just in Doctor Who. Um, I'm just using some cream eyeshadow just to set the eyeshadow primer, which was a designer brown's wand, which pretty much anybody outside of Australia is probably not going to know. It's an Australian brand. Not the best brand, but still. Yeah. Work with what you can get your hands on, quite frankly. Next one. Most disappointing cancellation. Well, that one's easy. That was Firefly. That was like the dumbest decision ever made by a um, bunch of executives sitting in an office not really listening to what the peoples wanted. No shade whatsoever. But yeah, that was the worst cancellation ever. Okay, next question. Best opening titles. Just using some kind of um, mid-toned to start building the crease. Um, best opening titles. Hmm. Um... Pretty much any of the Doctor Who opening titles have always been like really good. I just like the vortex thing, and um, if they don't have the vortex thing in them, I don't like them. But if they've got the vortex thing in them. Um, but another one was, funnily enough, because I didn't think much of the series itself, was uh, Star Trek Enterprise series one. Well, like uh, series one Star Trek Enterprise when uh, Russell Watson used to sing the. Um, title song. Uh, it was the first ever um, Star Trek episode, series, whatever, to have uh, lyrics in the opening sequence. And it actually helped me discover Russell Watson, who is actually now one of my favourite musos. Um, yeah. And it was a slightly changed version of My Heart Will Go On, which was originally done by Rod Stewart. They actually changed a few of the words, but it's still the same song. Um, and then I'm going to take some dark green and darken up the crease a little. Um, it's not, it's just a random dark green. It's not, doesn't have a name or anything like that. Next question. 
favorite female character? Um, um, probably uh, Jadzia Dax um, then becoming Ezri Dax and, and that whole thing, but particularly Jadzia. Um, I quite like Terry as an actress and I liked the character. In fact, I wanted to name my daughter Jadzia, but nobody would let me. Uh, yeah. Um, and of course, you know, like Rose and Donna and Amy and Clara. I have lots of favourite female characters. Um, not fussy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pretty much all of my preferred characters come from uh, sci-fi type stuff. Um, least favorite character. Ooh, least favorite character. Um. In Stargate SG-1, I can't remember his name, but there was this character who um, kept on cropping up time and time again, and he all he wanted was power, and um, he made himself out to be like a god-type thing to these people in this on this planet because he was escaping, and uh, at one stage he was frozen, but he just on kept coming back and annoying the shit out of the SG-1 team over and over again. Um, really didn't like that character. And whilst I love uh, John Delancey and his, his acting skills, the character that he played in um, SG-1, I didn't like that character. <laughs> I used to get upset every time he ended up on screen. Not because I didn't like seeing John Delancey, but because I didn't like the character. I was just like, I found him like really, really frustrating. Yeah, there's always that character that you find really, really frustrating. And you just, you know. Because I know a lot of people would be saying, you know, something like uh, Joffrey from Game of Thrones, which honestly I've never actually watched, so I can't really say. Um, but yeah, there's... I just have no affiliation with that kind of thing. I'm trying to work out what I'm going to put on my lid because I didn't really grab anything. Um, actually, I might put some... Let's use some Lorac highlighter. I'm going for a pretty light look today. Considering some of the looks I've done. <laughs> uh, next question. TV crush. Oh, been a few of them. <laughs> Depends on how far you want to go back, really. Um, uh, William Frakes and John Delancey from Star Trek Original Series. Bruce Botliner from Babylon 5, Sheridan, um, hmm. uh, Christopher Eccleston, mainly in his Doctor Who portrayal, um, yeah, probably those. Um, I have a thing for uh, slightly older male actors. <laughs> on the whole. <laughs> oh okay. Uh, um, eyeliner. I'm going to use, this is an Alme eyeliner. I've been trying to use it for ages. It doesn't want to die. Uh, Favourite childhood TV show? Um, probably The Muppet Show. I love that program. 
Although there's, you know, cringy aspects to it, as always. Um, but I did enjoy that quite a lot. And also a lot of the uh, English type uh, programs, because it was something I was subjected to quite a bit. So things like um, Faulty Towers and um, The Goonies. Not The Goonies, the movie. The Goonies, the English television series. <laughs> it was like a comedy show. Um, the Goodies. Um, Monty Python. Those, those kind of things. So it's hard to talk and put eyeliner on at the same time. Without messing it up, that is. No. Next question. Favourite teen TV show? Degrassi Junior High. Uh, don't recall watching a huge amount of television as a teenager. Um, but, you know, the same kind of English type television shows they were quite popular. Particularly got into things like Black Adder and Monty Python, uh, Flying Circus, and stuff like that at that age. Um, and, of course, that was about the time that I started to get into science fiction, so um, Star Trek in particular was something that I got into then. Not that there were too many other science fiction shows um, on Australian television at that stage. Um, a lot of Australian television... Um, when I was a teenager was a, very much Australian type content so you would get things like um, uh, Hey Hey It's Saturday which was like a variety type show which used to be on um, on Saturday morning and then they put it on Saturday night instead um, there's a guy called Red Simons who was from an Australian music band who used to be really sassy all the time. Um, this is the iTeeny Swizzle Stick in Midnight and Hubway, in case you're wondering. Um, for mass, oh, I'm just going to put some control freak in my brows now that they've dried. And then we will do mascara, which might be the last time for this mascara because I don't think I like it. It makes my eyes slashes too spidery. Uh, this is the um, Revlon Customize, which you can supposedly volumize and lengthen, but it's the same formula, so how does it do both? The brush doesn't do that to it. Uh, next question. Fastest binge watch. Uh, um, I have a weird eyelash. Who's doing weird things? <laughs> uh, fastest binge watch. I don't think I've actually done too much binge watching. I think probably the last season of um, Torchwood was my fastest binge watch. Um, or um, watching season so three, I think they're up to, of Polduck the other day. I watched like five episodes in like one day. 
It's not something I normally do. Um, but yeah, I don't really think I've had a good sit-down binge in ages um, on a television show. So it's a bit hard to remember. That's the problem with television. It's because I don't watch it a lot these days, so I time kind of forget. Um, on the bottom lash, I'm going to use CoverGirl Exact Lights. It's not my favourite or anything. This one is in Black Sapphire. Um, I'm just trying to use it before it goes bad. And I find it works on my bottom lashes. I'm not sure it really looks blue or anything like it's supposed to. Next one is favourite show of all time. Did I answer that one in the last one? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was like Torchwood or um, Babylon 5. Uh, show I regret watching. Ren and Stimpy. I regret watching that. Every episode I've watched of that. And I've watched a lot of episodes of that show. And yet I still watch it occasionally. Um, that or South Park. I just... Uh, I started watching South Park. Because, you know, it came out a long time ago. I was in my late... Late teens, early 20s. When that show... I was still living in the city. Um, so I was probably like 19 or 20 or something when that show started. And yeah, I might have even been a bit younger. And uh, Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Oh my god. You don't forget things like that. And, and I regret it every day. Favourite animated show? Oh. Um, mm. uh, there's a L'Oreal lip line and nude or something. show would probably be Bugs Bunny. I love that shit. That's like my childhood right there. Um, I didn't think of it as a childhood television show, really. But yeah, Bugs Bunny, probably my favourite. Um, and Futurama would probably be up there. No, I'm not going to say The Simpsons, even though Simpsons have been part of my life for like half my life. I've never actually been a huge fan. I've watched a lot of them, just not a huge fan. Uh, favourite Guilty Pleasure show? Um, uh, I used to watch, um, I don't so much now, and I, I don't think most people consider it a Guilty Pleasure, but, uh, I watch, um, used to watch America's Top Model. I don't know, I just kind of, and I watched Australian Top Model and a few of the other ones as well. Uh, uh, this is um, Kate by Rimmel in number 45. Um, yeah, but my favourite episodes were always the ones where they did like their, they gave them their like hair makeovers. I love those episodes. I love all the, the crying and everything. But I used to get like really bored like halfway through the show, so I kind of like tune out until they um, they did the bit at the end where they like showed their best picture and then someone got sent home. <laughs> uh, that and the Bachelorette. I, mean, I don't watch them anymore, but I used to. Right? And that's mainly because I just don't watch television anymore. There you go. Uh, favorite miniseries. Mm. <laughs> 
Um, my favourite miniseries was an Australian miniseries from many, many moons ago um, called Sarah Dane or um, All the Rivers Run, which was based off an Australian book, um, which was based on this family of people who lived on basically on the Murray River, which is the big river in the south in Australia. Um, and they use like paddle steamers and it was, it was incredible. Yeah, so though, probably those two were like among my favourite miniseries. It's quite long miniseries, but I really enjoyed those. And they were like 80s in the 80s, like, very old. Uh, most embarrassing watch. There was a dating program that was on, which was kind of like The Bachelorette, only it wasn't. And there was like this one girl and all of these guys, and some of the guys were lying, and some of the guys were not. And she had to, at the end of every episode, she had to pick, basically, um, the person that she thought was being deceptive or whatever, or one of the people, and, like, send them home, and, um, at the end, she had to pick, like, between these two guys, and when she got down to it, it was, like, one of them was actually truthful, and the other one was a liar, and it was really hard to pick which one the liar was, because one of the guys was, like, I've got a tramp stamp, like, well, what guy gets a tramp stamp? Like, seriously. This guy got a tramp stamp. And um, he was actually telling the truth. He did actually have a tramp stamp at one stage. I was like, I don't know if he had it removed or not, but yeah, he actually had a tattoo on his lower back. I was like, that was funny. That was like super duper funny. Um, but that show was so embarrassing and like so cringy. Uh, and yet I watched virtually every single episode of that show. And I wanted a season two. It's like guilty pleasure type stuff. Pretty embarrassing. And the last question, which was timed really well because it's what we've got on, which was cargo in Sahara. I'm just going to um, give my face a spray. This is the uh, NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. Do not like the smell of this. Maybe it's because I got so used to the Australis one, which smells like rose water, and that one stinks. Horrible. Okay, character whose wardrobe I'd most like to steal. Never really been into fashion, so it's never actually been an issue. <laughs> So I've never really thought about it. Um, I, I, I don't really do the fashion thing very much, so I don't look at someone's wardrobe and think, oh, I like that wardrobe. Like, I've honestly never thought that on a television show. Occasionally I'll like, like, a, a piece of costuming or whatever, and, like, I'll see costuming and stuff from, like, um, Game of Thrones and stuff. Like, as I said, I haven't watched the series. But then I find out that they go into, like, some really extraordinarily extraordinary depths in creating the costumes for details that nobody's ever actually going to notice because they're never going to get close enough to actually see it and I kind of like think that's amazing but any um like television show that is set like historical type television show I always really like the clothes and that kind of thing I like historical type clothing um but that would probably be it is is that sort of thing but yeah um, yeah, so this is the uh, TV tag. <laughs> this is what my face looks like now. Um, this is a very long video, um, <laughs> so I hope you had so much to drink. Um, yeah, so uh, if you want to check out Geeks and Beauties, there's, you know, conditions on joining this group, so, you know, you could check them out. 
see whether you're interested or not. They only do intakes occasionally, so you have to be a little bit patient. Um, but there will be um, a list down below of all the other people who are in this collab as well. So if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, or there will be an icony thing if I remember to put the end card in um, and a couple of other videos. Leave me a thumbs up if you like Get Raiders with me and tag type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!